So today I filmed a what my baby eats in a day. So Oscar is obviously six months old now and he's adapted to weaning really really well and he is obviously weaned now so we're not fully weaned obviously but we have introduced foods. So he is having three full meals a day but it is just the baby food like pureed food and he does only get usually half a jar or half a packet with something else which I will explain all in this video. As I said he is six months old now so he has adapted to food really really well now. He's eating extremely well and he's having five bottles a day which is the like required amount of bottles that he should be having at his age but I will go more in depth in that again as I said in this video so I'm not going to ramble on too much and I'm just going to get started into this video. So whether it's a weekend or a weekday I do try and get up and get Oscar up around 7 o'clock for his first feed because that is the routine that he's in at the moment and, he, and he's taken really really well to it. So I wake Oscar up at 7 and I give him a 7 ounce bottle and he usually drinks all of this without any stress. Because he has had 8 hours without a bottle so he does drink all the 7 ounces at 7 o'clock when I wake him up in the morning. And then after his bottle, obviously we just do something normal like during the morning. And then at 8 o'clock I usually give him his breakfast. So I get his high chair out and I put him in his high chair. I give him some toys to play with while I go and make him his breakfast. Come back in my room, grab a bib out, put a bib on him and then feed him his breakfast. So his breakfast varies between three things more or less every morning. So it's either a yoghurt pot, which is just a little petty flu yoghurt pot. He usually just eats one of them, maybe two at a push if he's hungry. Or he has a rusk, so he has half a rusk mixed in with baby milk. And then what he had this day that I was filming was the Heinz creamed porridge. So today he had the Heinz by Nature creamed porridge and he really, really likes this. So I want to get him some more flavours of porridge, as in like banana flavoured or something like that. And what I think I'm going to start doing is puree fruit down with it. So it gives him a bit of fruit in the porridge as well. But I'm going to get the Tommy Tippy blender for that as well. So I make sure everything is pureed down. But for breakfast, he usually eats that or one of the other following two other things that I said. <laughs> hours later he has another seven ounce bottle and he does drink all of this again because it had been three hours since he ate so he usually has a light breakfast usually he only has half a jar or a little petit falou as I said or half a rusk which isn't a huge intake so he had a bottle at seven food at eight and then another bottle at 11 because then by then he's hungry again so I give him a seven ounce bottle and as I said he drinks that with no issues <laughs> an hour and a half later he then has his lunch so his lunch kind of varies from a fruit pot which is just like a strawberry and apple heinz fruit pot but i don't have any with me now or a fruit pouch which is usually like a strawberry and kiwi fruit pouch or something like that he does have half of this sometimes i put it into a bowl sometimes i just put the pouch food onto the spoon and feed him like that but he does only have half However, today this is what he had. So he had beef casserole with vegetable. He'd usually have something like this for lunch, but I but I decided to give him this for lunch instead. I don't really know why. But it's just from Aldi and it was like 50p. And he really, really liked this. This is the stage two, so it's from seven months and it's slightly textured. But because I started the weaning process from four months, I wanted to introduce something else. So the slightly textured thing was the next best thing. So we're now introducing the slightly textured things. He is cracking on with it so much. He's eating so much, but as I said, I 
only give him half so this is the one he had today and this is how much is left so he has had half but then with this for lunch he also had a little dish or a little bowl of a couple of crisps so I just broke off a bit of crisp that uh, easily dissolved into his mouth and there were just some I can't remember what they were they were like the baby what's it crisps I can't remember what they're called but I just broke them up so they weren't too big for his mouth I gave him them and that was the first time I gave him anything like this and he, oh my gosh he loved them if he could have any more he would have but I only gave him probably around 10 little pieces and as you can see in the video after this they were very small but he usually has half a half a jar or half a like pouch of this with a little side like that for lunch so three hours after he had his lunch he then has another bottle now he has a seven ounce bottle again because it's been three hours since he was last fed so he is hungry so he has a seven ounce bottle with no stress as I've been saying because he's just a greedy pig honestly every time I take his bottle out to burp him he's like trying to find it he's like give it me back it's the cutest thing ever o'clock he has his dinner so he has his dinner and then bath and then bed so at five o'clock he has his dinner and this is usually a dinner so it's usually a Heinz pot of food as in like a Sunday lunch or a, or a spaghetti bolognese or one of the pouches which I showed you earlier today in this video he had another pouch so we had the same brand again I'm not going to say it's from Audi and this is the chicken and vegetable casserole and again it's the stage two from seven months slightly textured because as I said I'm trying to introduce the slightly textured things and he really really liked this so this is the one he had. Again, he only had half. So there is only that much left. So again, half. And then with that, he also has some fruit. So today he had banana. And how I give it to him is he has one of those baby feeding dummies almost, which is just a silicone dummy with holes in it that you can put fruit in. And then when they suck it, the fruit comes out from the holes. So it is kind of pureed down from their gums. And then they can easily swallow it. And he loved the banana one, honestly. I had to refill it about three times, but I didn't show it. He just loved it. He could not stop getting enough of it, honestly. It was the cutest thing ever. Thirty, so about an hour, an hour and a half after, de depending on the time to when he's finished his, depending on the time from when he's finished his dinner, his bath, get changed, watch some TV, etc., etc. He then has his last bottle before he goes to sleep so at six o'clock half six he then has a bottle and usually he drinks around five to six ounces in this one because it hadn't been long since he had a full up meal so he usually drinks around five to six ounces which is still really really good do still make him a seven ounce bottle just in case he is still hungry but he usually leaves an ounce two ounces so he does only get five to six ounces in him at this time
11 o'clock at night he then wakes up for a dream feed so I get him out of his cot and I give him a bottle and if you don't know what dream feed is I have spoken about it previously on my channel but a dream feed is just where they're asleep but they're hungry so they eat while they're asleep so he's asleep in my arms and I'm giving him a bottle and he stays asleep the whole duration of the food and then in this bottle I usually give him around eight to nine ounces depending on the amount of food that he ate four hours ago because obviously he only drank around five to six ounces on the last feed so I want to make sure he's still getting his five seven ounce bottles a day so then I top up his last bottle to whatever he didn't drink beforehand and he does usually drink all of it whether it is eight or nine ounces because he is really hungry from four hours ago and then once he's drank this he then sleeps through the night completely if he doesn't drink all of it then he does wake up probably around 4 a.m. in the morning for another feed but he does usually drink it all this video I really hope you enjoyed if you want to see more little videos like this then do comment them down below because I really enjoy filming little videos like this like what happens in a day or something like that so if you did enjoy this video then please do subscribe because we're so close to 100k but I hope we can do it so if you're not subscribed already then please do subscribe so I can hit that goal but please do follow us on all our social media which is always linked down below as always I just said that click the bell notification button so you never miss a video and we will see you all again in our next video bye